Hi, I'm Lloyd Pye, and this is an exact stereolithographic copy of the famous Starchild skull. The Starchild skull is a real, true bone skull that was found in Mexico around the Copper Canyon area about 1930. Carbon-14 analysis has shown that it died about 900 years ago. As you can see, it is very different in shape from a typical human skull. But over the last 10 years with the Star Child Project, we've had dozens of experts examine it and they can come up with no kind of typical human deformity that matches all of the unusual things about this skull. Its unusual physiology begins with the bone itself. It's uniformly half as thick as normal human bone and it weighs half as much. It's very light by comparison and yet it's two or three times as hard. It's extremely durable. We think some of that durability comes from very unusual fibers woven through the matrix of the bone. Never seen in any other animal of any kind. There's also a red residue found in the bone in the cancellous holes that is also very unlike any other bone that is known. So you have those unusual attributes right off the bat. Then in the rear we see that it lacks an inion, which is that knot that we all have in the back rear of our heads. Everybody has that. Chimps have it, gorillas have it, everything has it. And that's where your neck muscles attach. Its neck muscles attach all the way down here, right on top of the foramen magnum, meaning it has a very small neck, like half the size of a normal human neck. And it sits at a different angle. The head sits at a different angle than a normal human head. Very different. Chewing muscles very much reduced, normally up here, down here in the star child. Very small lower face. Look at these eye sockets. Look how shallow they are. Not even as deep as the first knuckle of my finger. Not even a full inch. In a human being, two full inches, all the way up to here, that depth. The eyes themselves are centered down here in the middle of the nose, so that the eyes are down here rather than up at the top like our eyes. Very, very unusual eyes. Unusual in so many ways. No sinuses in here. We've had all kinds of testing done over the past 10 years. Not just taking it to experts to get their opinions, but CAT scans, x-rays, scanning electron microscope, everything we could think of, trying to find out what it is, and it all comes back. This is not normal. This is really unusual. So, the main test we've had has been DNA. And what the DNA has told us is remarkable. In 2003, we recovered very easily its mitochondrial DNA, which told us that its mother was human. But in six full attempts, we could not recover its nuclear DNA. And nuclear DNA comes from your mother and your father. And so that told us right away that the father was very unusual and the star child itself is very unusual. Now, during the course of this year, 2009, we're hoping to have a DNA test done that will recover the entire genome of this remarkable relic. And when we get that result in, and we believe that we'll have it by the end of this year, we know that this skull is going to make history as big and as dramatically as history can be made. It's going to prove that at one time, on planet Earth 900 years ago in Mexico, an alien human being walked this Earth.